This RSBNB Update nibble originally aired on RSBNB Update 723. Enjoy. Let's get into it. Starting off, a question from Zant, a longtime listener of the show. As a recently returning player, catching up with the newest content has been quite overwhelming, especially when it comes to smaller tweaks and fixes. Which smaller updates and even patch notes over the past year or so do you think have had the most positive impact on the game? I think I know which one you're going to choose. <laughs> yeah. All right. Go well, ahead. Maybe. Um, were you thinking skyboxes? Yep. Yeah. Definitely. That. I mean, that's one for me. Um, but I think uh, it, for the general population, uh, or a bag was just a a huge ninja yeah, part of M and S. Update. Yeah. Um. To access the skybox, you just right-click the world map, and you can change your skyboxes and filters there and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, for me, it's the little things. Like, take example, last week's colorful stat indicators when um, when your stats are buffed or decreased. That's one. Um, You know, another big one is the changes that were made to the player-owned farm back in February, the player-owned farm month, just, you know, uh, reshaping the UI, some of the farm hands that were there. Um, and that, that was fun. Um, I think other other ones we can look at, it comes down to accessibility and just the general changes we've seen brought in with RS Mobile, um, you know, in particular making it so that you don't need to always rely on mouse over text to learn about something because you know if you're going to be on mobile you're not going to have that right it's true um and you know i i think that the combat patch weeks are also um not as well received as they should be because many people see it's oh it's just combat it's just for the pvm types but no in reality that is the bedrock of the game and they do need to they need they do need to be buffed and and tweaked every so often right well, and I've noticed when it comes to the combat tweaks and fixes, it actually seems to have more of an impact on uh, people that's doing normal kind of combat slayer, exactly. that kind of thing, than, it, than yeah. it does the actual higher echelons, you know? Yeah. Um, you might not find this interesting, but one I did was the bug report interface, remembering the text you entered, should you close it? Okay. <laughs> um. Also filtering messages when you're using um, your divine charges with the divine vacuum cleaner. Because previously you could have these messages appear, but you wouldn't be able to filter them out and would just clutter your chat. And that was that was kind of annoying. So, um, you're at 25%. You're at 50%. Yeah. You're at 75%. Exactly. Yeah. Right? Um, mm-hmm. And, you know, in general, just UI fixes and whatnot – I think people hated the player owned ports interface and they needed to make that for mobile, but it was something that needed to be updated. We should probably have another uh, look at that. And, you know, I I think you realize my trend is focusing in around UI and uh, whatnot. So that's, that's where I focused mine, most of my fixes. Um, And, you know, there, there, there are tiny little things like, for example, the ore box you you mentioned, right? Mm Mm-hmm. Oh, and all the sound cues, man. There's too many to like list right now, but they have done such a good job with adding sound cues over the last, well, especially over the last, like beginning in 2019, but even going further back in 2018, like they've really been doing a lot better of a job of making it like if there's a, a visual cue there's usually a sound cue along with it and that's yeah. just great um on the ore boxes you can you can click to use an ore box on a deposit box and it will empty everything in the ore box into your um into your bank yeah that's cool um drop changes for the pvm stuff when it comes to stone spirits was also good as well i think um, you know, there's just so many of these little fixes here and there. I could keep going on about these, but, you know, I think the best way people can uh, catch up with these is just subscribe to us on YouTube and watch the weekly 
weekly bite when those come out we do go through all these impactful patch patch uh, patch notes like that so um but if i had to pick one if you had to pick one would it be the skybox yeah just because that lets me get into areas of the game that is difficult otherwise okay fair enough yeah um you know for me i got to go with um you know, I don't know if, if this – is this a small one? I got to go with the uh, the drop changes that came with the mining and smithing update. <laughs> I don't know if that's small. Yeah. But... I don't know if I would put that in the small category, but sure. All right. Okay. Well, if I had to pick another one then. <sighs> actually, you know what though? That says something about it because it's it's actually huge and it felt huge then, but now – it doesn't feel so big. Exactly. Like, you know what I mean? Like we're kind of, everyone kind of got used to it was like, Oh yeah, that's the way it should have been. Yeah. It should have always been like that. Yeah. You know, um, potion tool tips. Okay. That's another that's a good one. one. I just have too many to pick. <laughs> 